Wow, that's really shifting in what it is. Crazy time signature syncopation. So much going on in intro. Honestly, I'm pumped. That just tingles. Stopped it ever so slightly early. Apologies. That is one of the most interesting things I've heard in ages. For starters, I was just trying to think, oh, Chaos Space Marine, like Warhammer. Like Warhammer 40k, and then it's a take my metal hand. I was like, oh, it's actually talking about the figures. And then that chorus kicked in, which was like this, this soaring, thrilling chorus, twice as loud as anything else on the track. Really, really stirring. And I was thinking, this reminds me of the first time I heard Wake Up from Arcade Fire all those years ago. And I was like, wow, what is this? Um... How did I ever hear that for the first time, by the way? That might have come on the Spotify rotation. Anyway, I can't remember, but still, that I remember that feeling. That feeling when I first heard that. This is similar. It, then it just, with the breakdowns and the halftime, and well, it, there's a lot to take in. Some of the strange lyrics in there. I'm going to keep it going. This doesn't feel like an album that should be stopped too many times, so I won't, but you know, you gotta, you got to talk your shit a little bit.
there's elements of the national in there. And the doctor said the, we are unfortunate. The chorus in the previous song sounded a bit like Maccabees. Running out of options to treat. Yeah. What a funny way to speak.
unbelievable. That was amazing. An amazing, amazing experience for six minutes. I'm not going to pause it, I'm just going to let it keep going, but so much that it's just every, the structure that ever, it, it felt like it was from 18 years ago or something. And I felt like it was a song that we all know, but I was. Okay, well, I just woke up. And you already don't care. And I christen me lonely, I pretended to fall to And I burn scented candles there And I hung some good pictures wet The paintwork was perfect so no one could doubt it Oh, I was still losing Turn Radiohead all of a sudden. I don't want to keep comparing them to these different bands, but it's just there's clear influences here, but it's still so startlingly original. Signal. 
almost good There's no way to save your evening now And I'm ready for it Spider just called down my neck. But even that can't disturb me from this beautiful song. I mean, the lyrics sound really complex and referential and reverential and and full of metaphor and simile. But on the first listen, obviously, it's the amazing instrumentation and arrangements there that are really blowing me away, to be honest. Yeah, those last two songs. I mean, Chaos Space Marine was amazing. The intro was what it was. But those last two, just something else. Now Goodwill Hunting, one of my favourite movies of all time, the, the, the next song. Um, yeah, I don't want to keep comparing them to other bands because there's obvious influences there. I mean, I was hearing a bit of Interpol there as well. But it's more just an era that it really reminds me of. It reminds me of my early adult years, early 2000s. And it was a really exciting time for music. In the early 2000s, especially in the kind of indie scene, you had stuff that was kind of going a bit more mainstream, like Kings of Leon, but the early work was still really interesting. And then English, um, there was a lot happening over here with the Libertines, and it kind of evolved into the kind of Maccabees thing. Obviously, Arcade Fire came out of Canada, um, and there were these all these sort of bands, almost as like they were challenging each other to, to make more interesting soundscapes. And, uh, and other bands that never really got anywhere, like Engineers and things like that. I mean, it's, it's unfair to say they never got anywhere. They had records out. And it was a really thrilling time for music in the UK. And I've had been through a few. I've been through a few of these thrilling times. When I was young, obviously, the Britpop thing happened when I was uh, yeah, like 12, 13. And, um, yeah, just being kind of a part of that was really exciting. But I was just a little bit too young. Like, I was too young to be going to shows and if, I didn't even live in England then. I lived in a little island called Guernsey, so it wasn't really possible. But but this era, it, well, this era that this album reminds me of, the early 2000s era, that was definitely my era as the young adult, um, sort of early 20s, which I'm sure a lot of you guys who are on the Patreon, just judging by my analytics again, um, have had that that with a lot of the music that I missed from the last 10 years, which is how I built the, the channel in the first place, rediscovering all of this music that I'd missed through getting older and having children and stuff like that will happen to it happened to everybody really it seems to happen to so many people and it's been it's such a pleasure to rediscover all this music but to go back to that era as well it's, it's sparking all these memories this imagery in my mind of little things that have been locked away little moments nothing moments mainly moments just existing in the world walking to work walking one like a bus trip to to have to go to a hospital just listening to music on my mp3 player that suddenly just come back to me it's amazing how music can do that but absolutely blown away by those two songs. And now, yeah, let's move on to the next one. These are long ass songs, so we're going to be here a while. You walk up on the raised edge, hands out the balance, slipping you almost grab mine, but you find your feet. And I never wanted so much someone to fall. It's just been a weekend But in my mind we summer in France With our genius daughters now And you teach me to play the piano you call Wow! A punch of that drum Everyone will say it was cool 
Billy Eilish again. Moving to Berlin for a little while. Trying to find something to hold on to. Never text me nothing, but she wants to tell me. She's not that hard to find. And message me if you change your mind, darling. I'll This doesn't happen very often. And if we're on a burning starship, the escape pods filled with your friends, your childhood film photos. There's no room for me to go. Oh, I'd wait there, float with the wreckage, fashion a long sword, traverse the Milky Way, trying to get home. This doesn't happen very often. This doesn't happen very often. This feeling when you're hearing something for the first time and you're just like, wow, I'm experiencing something special. I'm fortunate enough that that has happened quite a few times on camera since I've been doing this. We're talking House of Balloons, we're talking Blonde, some of those, you know, Rodeo, some of those top reactions that have the most views on my channel. But yeah, I haven't listened to music in this genre that's made me feel like this since maybe since that first Arcade Fire record. I can't think. I can't think. Really, something else. Something about his voice as well. I know I actually read that um, he, he yeah, I saw it on social media, around the same time people were mentioning this, this band and uh, this album, that the lead singers had to leave the band on the day of release through, through mental health um, issues. So, you know, wish him all the best and such a shame. It seems like the band is is over, is it? I, I'm not 100% sure. I don't want to do any more reading in and around it until I've listened through for the first time. But um, if, that, if that is the case, then, that, that, you know, that's obviously a real tragedy uh, for the music. But obviously his his health comes first and foremost in, in any of those sorts of situations, of course. Also, there's another album, isn't there? A previous one. I obviously haven't heard that either, but is it of this standard? I mean, 
I'll hold off listening to it again because if this proves a popular video on the Patreon and people and people like this video, then we can go and do the other one on on camera as well. But I definitely will be listening to it. Um, yeah, astonishing so far. Oh, I'm going to see where they're from. Actually, I remember I read they're from Cambridge, so not very close to where I am, but close enough.
insane, dude. insane album. Okay, please don't give me a panic attack. Oh my god. blown away by bands and musicians that can just come up with this level of creativity and just this level of like concept and, and complexity obviously they're you know like classical music has even more complex and huge arrangements and everything like that but sometimes music's so simple and simple music can be great but it's when it's complicated but it makes you feel Plus that it's so thrilling because I don't know what's coming next ever, but it still feel, fits into like a style, I guess. Fucking hell! In parts it feels raw like this, and in other parts it feels so now. Gorgeous piece of music. Stunning. Okay. Wow. Right, these last three songs are seven minutes, nine minutes, and then twelve and a half minutes. So this feels like a section of the album to just really strap in for. Goodness me. Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the blue, which obviously you won't see on the video. Um, and I'm going to come back and I'm going to get through. Well, I'm going to, to lose myself to these last three tracks. What an experience this has been. And I'm just glad I've done it in this capacity. And the truth of the matter is... While I'd have probably ended up listening to this record, I would have never have done it on camera if it wasn't for this new system, this new structure on Patreon. So please let me know down in the comments if you made it all the way this far on the video, which I'm sure so many of you have. Um, please just let me down, let me know down in the comments your thoughts on more music, more content coming to the Patreon. And let me once again reiterate that you guys on here are you know you are what makes it happen and it's not just about sustaining a channel which it has been for a long time especially through the pandemic and allowing me to do this full time throughout the pandemic which is amazing but you know we now got uh, Joe on board as of this week who's who's going to be editing the videos you'd have seen a lot of his edits death grips some of the re the really really fucking amazing edits have been have been from Joe um and now he's coming on to to edit all the videos which is super exciting and you know, the more we can build uh, and we've got some big ideas in the pipeline as well, um, the more exciting things, you know, more people we can potentially bring on and then add more like, styles of content we can add uh, and maybe even stuff outside of music as well to talk about. But obviously this is this is where, where we're at. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm inspired. This is a thrilling time. But again, it is 
it's it's all you guys. So I mean, like, I hopefully we can we can build something on the Patreon that goes to another level um, with lots more content, um, lots more different types of content, stuff that you know that wouldn't make sense for the YouTube uh, channel because you know you just have to be so precious about the views over there. And as you know, like I say, you know, I'm one of the only YouTubers of the size that I am outside of the few other reactors who are bigger than me who make <laughs> this make this much YouTube content for no AdSense money. I don't think there's many of us. So um, we are reliant on, on you guys, but um, we're building something special together. And I want this to be a place that YouTube, the whole network where we can all kind of build this community to uh, levels and levels and levels and we will have a place to whether it's discuss music more things coming soon a complete revamp for the discord for starters but um yeah forgive me for just sort of going off in the middle of this reaction but it feels like time because it's this week you know this week that it's all starting to happen so let's build it Let, uh, let's see how far we can take this thing let's see how far we can how big we can grow this thing and um, I think it's really, it's really going to be exciting. I'm really excited to see these last three tracks, to hear these last three tracks. The place where he inserted the blade is a hell of a title for a song.
So clean your soup maker and breathe in your chicken, broccoli, and everything. The tug that's between us, that long string, concord bound to in my Astonishing once again, once again. Listen, sometimes doing this, you have a kind of moment on first time. You never know for sure. You never know for sure if it's going to hold up on future listens. It's why I've ummed and ahed, and you'll see there will be periods where I'll be doing first reaction scores on my videos, and then there's periods where I stop because sometimes I'll go really high on a first reaction score, and then I go back and listen to the album, and I'll sit with it for two, three weeks. I go, oh, no, massively overrated there. And sometimes it goes the other way as well. Obviously, we're, you know, that's, that's quite a common feeling as you listen to something and it grows over time. We know this. But there are sometimes, about three or four times a year, I've noticed since I've been doing this, where you go, okay, this is this is something special. This is something special last year. James Blake, Dave, uh, a few others. But this, this is rare. This feels like one of those few times in your life that you're hearing something. And we've had a few of those on the channel. I mentioned a couple of them, Frank Ocean. And um, obviously, you know, well, Kendrick Lamar to Pimper Butterfly. And um, obviously The Weeknd, House of Balloons. But this feels like one of them again. Like, what was I doing? when I first heard this and how is my life different before and then after 
Now, again, you don't know. I don't know. I might listen to this again tomorrow and then in a week and it just, yeah, it doesn't really, yeah, it's just, it might happen. It might happen. It might, but I'm pretty sure it won't. I'm pretty sure it won't. There's two absolutely epic, certainly in terms of length, songs left. But I'm so glad that I did this. I mean, it's past midnight now, my time. Um, long old day, but we work long old days over here. But this is a really, thrill- I'm feeling really excited. I'm really excited about this. I'm really excited about the fact I did it on camera. And I know some of you guys are really going to enjoy watching this video and re-enjoying this album because I know that I still love re-enjoying albums with some of the reactors that I love watching. Shout out to the Mallory brothers. But um, I really, really am excited about what we're going to be doing over here over the next six to 12 months. Um, I'm bringing, you know, and how much we can bring you guys along and how we're really, really going to build the community properly and um, yeah, take this thing to another level. I'm feeling inspired. It's going to be a lot of hard work. But like I said, if you guys are along for it, if you're up for it, if you guys are up for it, I think we're going to do something very special indeed. Very special indeed. Right, two tracks to go, a little bit of drink to go. I managed to make this last quite well. We'll do some of these as streams as well, by the way. Followed by the guitar. 
that same melodic, melodic line. We must let the clan do what the clan does best. That's a funny looking shrine on your bedroom wall.
mate. If you put a gun to my head and asked me to tell you the best song on this album, I don't think I could do it. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea. It's going to take months. I mean, how that isn't... The, actually, how the previous track wasn't the last track, I don't know. How that wasn't the last track, I do not know. Well, I mean, I don't even know what we're going to experience here. Forgive me, I'm just going to have to probably drift off to whatever this ends up being. Quarter past midnight, been up since seven. What an experience. So, 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 so glad I did this. And what? What an album to really start this off with. I know we did Sabba as well. But, you know, this would have never have got done. Never have got done. Gosh, it's so amazing. Fresh. 
Let's just say, is that it? No, still four minutes to go. This is ridiculous, dude. This is absolutely insane. A spiritual experience spent with this record. <sighs> oh, so it's late, man. I've never heard anything like it, man. I've never heard anything like I'm a different person now from hearing that. I have never heard anything like that. That was astonishing. The whole album built, and it wasn't exactly small at the beginning, but by the end, I feel like I've been taken somewhere else. 
That was unbelievable. What the fuck did I just hear? I like to have, like, I'm pretty sure that certain elements of that song were like about that and, you know, perhaps the, the you know, the basketball shoes, the the reference to the, you know, the, the, the fucking, sorry, I can't even speak. You know, the, the cycle of getting caught up in materialistic things in this country. I don't know. I don't know. I know there's complexity to those lyrics and arcs and stories in there as well. But it's just from the music. I mean, I'm not surprised the poor guy's got mental health issues. You can hear it. That 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 passion, that anguish. Oh my fucking goodness. I'm just absolutely blown away. Blown away. And suddenly all the comments make sense. Because yeah, this isn't the genre that I typically would have thought that my audience was listening to, but my audience is like me, just loves amazing music. And this is amazing music. And I just appreciate every single one of you that commented this, DM this. You're right. Listen, I know I sometimes ask for, for no DM requests because they they are overwhelming. And I think, you know, before, they're slightly less so these days, but before it got crazy. Um, but yeah, when you guys know and you need me to know, it's always going to be welcome. Fuck me, dude. What the hell? What the hell? Right. Let me know in the comments on the Patreon page. Um, an astonishing, astonishing moment for me, man. On a Monday night here. Well, it's Tuesday morning now. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. I'm just gonna have to let. I'm gonna live. I just have to live with that one for a bit. I can't even speak, man. Thank you so much again for the support. We're building something here. We're really trying to build something over these next twelve months. I think it's gonna be very special. But I need all your support. I really appreciate all your support. You guys, and what what makes it happen? What makes stuff like this happen? What makes it all happen? And everything we're building is with you. So um, thank you for that. But I am blown away. All right, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. All right. Peace and love, guys. Fuck.